with two balls up on a whiteboard, still on the national radio, and we are back in the building, man. And tonight, listen, my goal on my show, for you that didn't know, is to push all Chicago artists. So if you're a Chicago artist, come see me. Because I definitely want to give you some time to shine, man. Because listen, when you shine, when you get out there in the world, boy, it's going to be way big on a bigger scale. But I'm going to make sure you feel real good as artists. So, so tonight, this is my second artist in the building. I hope you guys got your curriculum ready. Because this one right here, we talking a little bit, okay? This one right here, me and him are talking the whole time, okay? Hey, man, I got Prince in the building. What's going on, Prince? How you doing? What's up, what's up, boss lady? Yeah. Man, listen, I'm so proud for you to be on this. Because like, we met, it was like... I seen everybody, we, we both on Power 92. He's sitting on the side, I'm sitting on the side. I'm like, hey, you are artist? like, yeah, I'm artist. I'm like, hey, what's up? I need social media. I'm social media. Everybody in the room, you hear me? Everybody. The right way. The right way. <laughs> Friends, the right way. why are you so turned up, though? Because, I mean, it's time for it. It's time for it. Doesn't it? it just got to be that way, you hear me? It got to be that way. I mean, I've been grinding for so long that I had, like, my little grace period where I was gone for a while. For a while. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I had reset. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then it was just like time to get like back motivated and get back focused. And it's like, you know, when the, the universe aligns itself, like, it's time for you, you feel me? And it's you time. just said the words right there. The universe and the mind. You know what I'm saying? Those things right there. When you're using those kind of words right there, you, you just Third don't use You hear me? You're just going to be conscious. Okay. Out. You're yeah. just gonna see things for what they are. So tell me about how long you've been doing this. Man, I've been doing it for a while, but you know, I, I really gotta like subtract five years from it because I was gone, you know what I'm saying? Like incarcerated, you feel me? So it was like, um, after being incarcerated for five years, like, you know, it, it'd be a reset, but for me personally, it was necessary, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people look at it like being in jail, like, you know what I'm saying? like. Damn, that's a bad thing or whatever. Like, I need it. Like, for real, I need it. He was bad, man. I ain't gonna say bad, but we was active. <laughs> I'm tired of this word active. Cause y'all need to scrap. Y'all using all kinds of terms. Hold this What's understood ain't gotta be explained. You gotta say that. You gotta say Sometimes that. Sometimes ain't gotta be explained. Like, we in Chicago. That's all. Yeah, this is Illinois. This is Chicago, you hear? Listen. You hear? Okay. Chicago. So, talk about that. You gonna stay here when you think you did? Man, I ain't gonna say I'm gonna stay there. I ain't gonna block. I'm gonna watch you keep shit. Damn, man. Oh, you, I ain't gonna lie. Look, anything that's there in Chicago, we're asking for it. We know how it's in the end, man. You gotta get it. You gotta get it. Okay. 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 It, it's a difference. It depends on what your, your platform is. You feel me? Like, if you was a nigga who was, like, under the radar and you able to steal it, then by all means do your thing. But if you a nigga that's really involved, you know what I'm saying, with with politics and the street, street politics, you know what I'm saying, and you got ties to whatever you got ties to, you know what I'm saying, you got to move a certain way. We know how this goes. But, like, Chicago is just different from everywhere else. You you cannot come here and not know how to move. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how I go. That's why I think they envy us in other states. You know, they love us, though. No, but, but, but they, they envy us. They love us out of fear. They love us out of fear. That's out what it is. Fear. They love us out of fear. They all, like, we unpredictable. Man, listen, you ain't that right. You gonna stomp me a little bit. Oh, man, like, you yeah. go, what? You out of fear because when they you say Chicago. You know, I was in New York, they're like, you from Chicago? I'm like, damn, nigga, this is the second, first biggest city in the U.S. You from Chicago? Like, y'all niggas terrified, man. I was like, man, I'm like, nigga, you know how to move when you from there. You know what I'm saying? You That's facts. You know how to move there. That's facts. And they got a lot to do with, you know, like how you raised because I catch myself. So I was raised in, like, the mixed community growing up, mm -hmm. okay? And I don't understand how people don't trust me. I don't understand. No. Oh, I didn't. Now I do. But oh, shit. Now I do because I like the streets. So yeah, now I learned, but I didn't understand why people didn't trust people. You know what I'm saying? Because oh. you walk down my street, nothing. Yeah, I'm just right. growing up. I never had to worry about the little 70 seconds like Washington, North area. Oh, yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> And every time you from Marquette Park here, yeah. And every time somebody black moved on the block, my mama moved off the block. Damn. 
I went to school at Healy Elementary. No. She was 31st in Bridgeport. They used to be scared to be on the bus. Like, oh no, for they shoot through the men. Still black racist. Man, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a racist too, because I don't like light skin shit. So I might be racist. Too. Oh, 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 man, too. But you be like, the blacks. I'm like, you know, fuck you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole black male thing on your wall. Hell no. Hey, so why do we, right now, like, focus so hard on emotion, man? Because I really, like, feel some type of way about it. I feel like a lot of this music is emotional. Like, you can't, they can't deal with their feelings at home. So you put a lot of this into you music. You know what? But music is like a broke nigga down. You know what I'm saying? Like music, and I don't mean like broke nigga, like niggas ain't got money, but just like motherfuckers who are not able to naturally just be able to. First of all, as a male, as a black male, let's just put it that way. As a black male, it's hard to talk to anybody. You know what I'm saying? And as a male, no matter your race, just as a male, period, like. We are looked at as like people who need to be able to just cope with everything without having no feeling. You know what I'm saying? So music is what we like dive into because that's the only way we able to relay our message for people to be able to feel what we feeling at that moment. That that's why I love music. Like regardless of money, like the money gonna come. That's why I tell all artists like just do you, do you because it, even if. Cause I engineer a lot of music, although I rap. So even if like a, a nigga come record with me, and I don't really feel the music, I be like, do you, bro? Fuck what I'm doing in the room while you record because your message ain't for me. It might be for a hundred thousand other niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I might not feel your shit because we don't come from the same background or the same whatever. You know what I'm saying? You might be talking some motherfucking cotton candy from world shit, but. It's people that relate to it, yeah. shit. We got all type of artists. We got all type of mindsets, you know? That's facts. That's facts. Because I was sitting in the car a few minutes ago just coming to my show and thinking, like, we got to talk about, man. Really, for real, you got to let some people go in your life, man. They don't have oh, who it is. Family, friends, cousins. I don't give a damn when you got to let some people go. Because you know your back going to feel so much lighter. You know what, though, boss? I don't got you said in the life. You know, when I was. Before I got locked up and shit, like, you know, I was like one of them niggas like that kept the shit jailed. You know what I'm saying? But then was like, when you get a cost right and you really be able to, like, the only person you could look at is you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it it changed your perspective. And then when you touch back down, like, niggas be acting weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas be want you to move too fast. But as an individual, you got to, like, know your, your limitations, like, Hey, I gotta do this this way because this is what me and my God talked about, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, at the end of the day, fuck nigga. Like, that's just how I be feeling. Like, nigga, it is what it is, man. Niggas know what's up. Me, I be chilling, but niggas know. <laughs> niggas know. Like, I ain't. We ain't gotta like dive into no no gutter shit, but niggas know. You know what I'm saying? It's still love too. It don't need to be like no. It don't even be like no animosity. It just be like, nigga, just, you do your thing, I'm do my thing over here, and if we meet at the finish line together, that's what it is, you know? And that be real talk, though. You know, people know who they need, who they can try, who they can't try, because don't play with boss money. Like at all, you know. You know what I'm saying? So I feel what you're saying. Like, that ain't even no cocky shit, but yeah, you know, like, stop playing with me. You know what's like, bring me and what not to bring me. You saw the movie The Lion King and shit, like, where, like, the, like I'm scarred on The Lion King type shit, like, I don't care with the hyenas, you hear me? Like, it's a different, like, nigga, I got a nigga that ain't even with the pack, with the shit. No, man, like, and he's gonna do that to Mufasa. Man, fuck him, throw him off the cliff. I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, nigga need it, bro, yeah. So, man, that's what it be, dude. Hey, now, I ain't gonna lie, it be some of those friends, you thought those friends need it, bro. Some of your friends, your biggest enemies, your and they ain't necessary, enemy. though. Ain't hey, necessary, they, they ain't necessary. You right, because they bring me a lot of fuckers. And they the motivation. And if you don't, look, like, you know what I'm saying? You can't even enjoy, like, the sun if it don't rain. You yes. feel me? Like, you got to have niggas that, that be like, man, fuck this bitch. And they're like, I love that, like, and then I'll pull up on the scat pack or some shit. They're like, oh, like, it was, that's that motivation. They're like, yeah, bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need. That's what you need. That's that's why, you, why you try to act like you ain't know, though? That's what I be a little mad about. They be trying to act like they know who you were. Because I told you 80 million times already without saying anything to you. So stop trying. But they was hearing you. They want to listen. They, ooh, that's a big 
you do that stuff? Where you come from? Where you gonna cover this bitch? I take over my show. Um, yeah, oh, me too. Dude. This because look, we gotta get real for real with people, man. We gotta stop this whole not saying shit and calling people out. Oh shit, man. We gotta stop that because that shit keep going, and I ain't got time. Nice. I don't even wanna be around me. If I had a conversation, any kind of conversation I'm being, I mean, I'm gone. I'm gonna walk on no good. I'm over, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. I'm gonna move. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. I'll walk. Mm-hmm. I gotta go because I don't want to get involved in all of this. So, talk about that right now in the industry. Because it's so cutthroat, how do you stay, how do you maintain and keep a calm, level head to keep going, regardless of much, as much as the black ball and the stabbing in the back and all the back and all that shit just going on right now? Like, just being straightforward, I'm TD. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I got six points five on me. Like, but but like when we be like maneuvering, it's gutter gang, gutter click. Like you gonna hit that a lot. Chicago need to hit that. Like it's gutter gang, gutter click. Like triple GC. You know what I'm saying? Like when I say gutter gang, gutter click, like it's bigger than G. You know what I'm saying? Like it's moles, foes, vice lords, BDs, GDs, everything. I even got laugh folks. You know what I'm saying? Some of the double A's, Ambrose and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. When, when, when it comes to gutter gang, gutter play, we just fuck with real niggas. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's real niggas in every mall. And I, I, like, at the end of the day, like, all this shit that's going on, like, BDGD, I don't give a fuck about this shit. Because at the end of the day, like, I'm a lot of, a lot of old head BD niggas, and we used to be in that bitch making nips laughing at niggas, like, bro, this shit crazy. Like, at the end of the day, we all brothers of the struggle. You know what I'm saying? So, when, how I was looking at this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these little niggas got this shit fucked up. Like, that ain't what the. The chairman and the niggas before us was really trying to do. They was trying to pull it together. It's just yeah. like, you know, a lot of niggas be like family. And really a lot of this shit be like, this my nigga from the block or this my family from the block. And and I kill that nigga. And that nigga kill one of my niggas. And that shit just go haywire. But it, it really don't be about shit. You feel me? Like, we all lose at the end. You feel me? So I, I be looking at shit like, I, I'm gonna get another clip. Fuck GD, all that shit. Like, I'm gonna get another clip, nigga. You triple GC niggas, one life. Hey, what is one group, one team, one life, one dream? You feel me? That's how we move. Like, one group, one team, one life, one dream. Like, we we on this shit to get money, nigga. Like, you can't make no money when we born. Man, you can't make no money on your team when your team bigger in this shit. You can't. You work out with the next man, yeah. What's wrong with you? You got your own life. I got mine. Facts. Everybody ain't no leader like me. Go ahead and be the second tier. That's okay. It, that's okay. But Do you live? That's, that's okay. The, yeah, that's the thing, though. Know, like, don't be henchmen. That's okay. That's okay. But but niggas don't know how to like categorize. Like some niggas gonna be the janitor. Some <laughs> niggas gonna be the secretary. Some niggas gonna be the CEO. Some, the some niggas are. gonna be behind the camera. Some niggas gonna be in front of the camera. Like and you just gotta play your role so we can all eat. You know what I'm saying? I'm still a king queen. Say, we don't listen to percentages in this shit. 
<laughs> hey, so tell, tell everybody, like, what, what is something that you would tell somebody who's doing what you're doing? Like, you know, drill music is taking over. I'm getting tired of it. But tell me what would you do. You know what? I, I, I think, like, the dissing create like, a path for, like, destruction. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, even though I have my little beefs and ins and outs with whoever, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't gonna have me put them in no music. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna shine no light on them. At the end of the day, like, I'm an artist, so, like, whatever I say, I should be able to paint a picture without having to dish your dad on me or without having to say, like, nigga, you know, we don't rap, you know, like, niggas know what's up, so you ain't even gotta do that because, like, I feel like any niggas that's doing that, that need that clout. Like, if you certified and stamp, you don't, you ain't really gotta do all that. And at the end of the day, like, Feds watching niggas head knocked off, and then they come right where you at. And like I, I feel like keep the music music, like keep the music. You know what I'm saying? Like don't build yourself a repo. Don't build yourself a repo. Like and, and they really snatching our ass up because we we finally getting on, but we still want to stay in the same little box. Thinking like even though we did, we could stay around and approve to niggas who ain't really got shit that we still able to stay around here. Like, those niggas ain't got shit, so don't care if your goof fat stay around. Like, nigga, you made it. Like, if you made it, oh, make it and go on, bro. And just build a couple YMCA's, motherfucker, do some turkey drafts, some back to school shit. Like, and, and get back to the neighborhood, nigga. You ain't gotta be on the block with the 30, you know what I'm saying? Like, still get caught with guns. Damn, that's how quick it was. I ain't even that. Yeah. 
I'm dead. Look, so look, I'm gonna go back to you doing what for your crew though. That's good. Because let me tell you, baby, what little baby did. Little baby did a million dollars in the Las Vegas casino and gave it to his crew, gave it something to his crew, and then started buying up old schools and daycare centers. When I say something over. To me personally, I think Shorty like one of the dopest yes. young niggas in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for me, I, I like how Shorty maneuver, like, because for me, like, that's what this shit is about. Like, get money, stay out of these niggas' beeps, like, and that's how he be moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, he fuck with everybody, like they're getting to a nigga, but he's fuck with him. other niggas, he fuck with other niggas, he fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like young boy got down on niggas like on some other shit because he was fuck with dirt, but Young boy, like, ain't at that maturity level yet. Where it's like, this shit business, opposed to like, on some gangster shit for real. Like, look at me through basketball tournaments in Chicago. Like, he doing everything. I'm just like, man, shout Shorty out to the him. Right right man, man, shout out Shorty to the goal for right giving right back to the community because you are the ideal. And everybody look at him because of the music that he produced and say something totally different. Man, if baby, the media. If baby got killed, it'd be worse than that. Right. Man, boy, listen. It's if so they let something baby, this shit gonna be worse than Nipsey. And I was crushed when Nipsey died. I swear to God, I'm cooking chicken on the G. I'm cooking chicken. Nipsey died. I stopped seasoning that shit. You hear me? I'm dead. You 